One of the big questions I get asked all the time is, how do I paint my ceiling? Well, the first thing you gotta determine is, has your ceiling been painted before? That is very, very important. This one here has not been painted before. You can basically go up there to your fingernail and just give it a little scratch where it comes off really easy. Chances are it has not. And if it has not been painted, the only choice you have is either to roll it with an oil base or spray it. So today we are actually going to spray it. And I'll show you what we do to prep it up. Now if you, if you roll it with latex, what's going to happen is the latex is going to loosen off all that stipple and it's going to pull it right off the ceiling and you're going to see streaks. So you go into a buddy's house and you see all these streaks down the ceiling. They rolled it with the latex and uh, that was just a rookie move. So I'm going to give you a bit of a close up and see if we can see a difference here. Try and get it in focus here for you. You can see it just flakes right off. So you know that that has not been painted before. Doesn't have a shine to it. Now the reason you're painting your ceiling is because it's yellow. And that's just, that's just wear and tear over the years, you know. You've got your kitchen smells and dust and everything like that. So you're going to have to use a ceiling paint. This one here is, look at the other side. It's a uh, paint primer on one. It's a stain blocker. So it's important that you have a stain blocker. If you don't have a stain blocker, the yellow, if you're using a latex, is going to come through. Now, if you're in a situation where the house has been smoked in, I highly recommend that you spray it with oil. Um, it's probably the only way that you're gonna be able to mask any of that yellowing from coming through or bleeding through after the fact. So you have to determine that, how bad are you, to what product you're actually gonna use. So all we're gonna do is we've taped up our uh, ceiling fixtures and we just got to run tape along the walls and you got to make sure that your floor is all taped up. Remember, you're spraying. It's going to have some overspray. sprayer and these are uh, cheap and easy to rent so just go to your rental house and rent one of these or 
some of the building uh, supply shops also uh, rent them. Best way to do it. If you're going to use a like a gun, it gets pretty heavy. If you're doing a whole house, you're doing a room, that works fine. This is the best. Now, if you haven't ever sprayed before, you want to go one way and make sure you overlap. You know your spray is going to be like this. You want to go about 50 percent, and you're just taking your time. Okay, you're not trying to save the world right off the bat. So you get a nice coverage. We're going to do two coats, and then we're going to go the opposite way. As you can see, covered really well. Just gonna let it set for 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna take the plastic down. You wanna go nice and slow when you do that. Helps to be tall. Just wanted to show you this. This is uh, scaffolding. I don't know if you can see down below, but I actually built a structure that goes down to the floor, comes up so that we're able to put some heavy duty planks down. When you're working, you know, way, way up. Don't just flange something together. Do a good job. Just take your time. You wanna enjoy your nice new ceiling, so don't fall.